future, darling? Gary, Indiana, conservation class of 05, now darling. Now mama. Surely every girl's future doesn't depend on some fast-talking, self-centered, traveling man who comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity to music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling. All right. But there is a well-known saying that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! <laughs> Winthrop! Winthrop! I know you're there. Please go to the library and ask Miss Grubb for the book that I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890-1910. It's a large brown volume with flat corners. Do I have to? You won't have to talk to anybody. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now, what are you up to? Why do you need books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling that the Indiana Journal will poke some large holes in the professor's claims. Well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of white knight do you think is going to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Greenier, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Or Ed Gambridge in that buggy of his with the removable back seat. But I'm not waiting for a man in shining white armor either. My white knight, not a prince of heart, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me who is not ashamed of. interested in us. <laughs>